matched up the essence of it as we see how Lindsey Garvin is able to react to that and that change in this changing from the sport of boxing to MMA. Garbit very quick on her feet. Throws the left, or the right hand rather. You can see the, the tentative nature right now of Stephanie Essenza because she's just trying to stay away from the striking of Lindsay Garbit. But this is good work by Essenza pushing up Garbit against the cage. And this is where you take away that power. And good target there by Essenza, targeting those legs with the knees, trying to take away the power base so that Garbit can't throw as hard. And a couple knees up against the cage. In a clinch here, Essenza has Garbit backed up. And a nice knee to the midsection as well. Once again, we are under the professional rules now. So these are three five-minute rounds, full unified rules in effect as uh, compared to our amateur fights that you saw earlier on today. Essenza continues to have Garbit up against the cage. Garbit pops in a quick elbow. And now Garbit gets back out. Just nice. look at the musculature on Lindsay Garbage. Couple punches land to Essenza. Again, Garbage very patient here, Jeremy. Kind of waiting to see what Essenza will do before stepping in. A nice leg kick there. Earlier tonight, I was talking to Coach Lachlan Chang, who's one of the coaches of Elias Theodoro, also one of the coaches of Kara Kirsch, who we'll see later on tonight. And he said, Lindsey Garbett is the scariest striker in women that he has ever seen. And that's not ever in his gym, it's ever that he's ever seen. So far, so good. For Stephanie Essenza, though, going up against that striking, has taken some punches, but hasn't really shown much in the way of damage. A nice knee there from Essence as they get into the clinch, attempting the trip takedown, but not successful. Lindsay Garvin. One well, that Muay Thai clinch is actually a very good position for Stephanie Essence to end up in because that's when she can work the knees and those positions that perhaps Lindsay Garvin doesn't see in the boxing. And again, something else that you might not see in boxing is that running in a nice. And there from Essenza takes Garbett down. She's on top and looking to finish here, landing punches to the head of the former world champ. Good punch timing by Stephanie Essenza. And again, landing another good shot, showing the power that is Lindsay Garbett. She just bullies her way and has Essenza on her back now. But that was an excellent shot by Stephanie Essenza. She caught her on the counter and uh, but now Lindsay Garbin on top and looking to, to kind of revenge some of that damage she took. Nice up kick there from Essenza. Landing punches now as Garbin on top. Trying to find her spot. Essenza trying to grab the arm. Jeremy may be looking for a submission there, at least mitigating the damage somewhat from Garbin's strikes. Good work here by Essenza. This is excellent, excellent grappling and just trying to get away and get a good position. Now in on the double leg and needs to get those hands locked or switch to a single leg and get the takedown. Garbage content to sit there and perhaps lay some knees into the face of Stephanie Essenza. There we go, some punches from the top here now. Garbit landing from the top again, trying to peel Essenza off and prevent her from securing that double leg takedown. Essenza trying to close that stance. Garbit doing a good job though, Jeremy, of keeping that underhook on Essenza, not allowing her to get in and secure that takedown. Just about 20 seconds remaining now in this first round. This is our first professional fight of the evening and the first professional fight for Lindsay Garbett, who is up against the cage now. Stephanie Essenza landing some good knees to the legs. Now 10 seconds remaining in the round. Some elbows there to the side of the head. And there is some blood now on Stephanie Essenza.
when normally you might see that Lindsay Garbett would come out with a little reckless abandon, but that counter punch by Stephanie Essence in the first round has really limited that ability to rush in because of that counter punching ability. And again, big strikes coming in from both women now landing strikes. And uh, a nice combination of kicks and punches there from Garbett. Essence are doing a good job of landing some punches of her own. Good combination jab, Superman punch. Again, a much more patient fight uh, here between these two fighters. And it, it seems leading with the elbow there was Garbett and now lands a couple strikes and looking for a takedown of her own. Well, on takedown would be very dangerous here because it allows Lindsay Garbett to start letting those fists fly. She got the hands locked underneath the legs of Stephanie Essenza. Essenza doing an excellent job in staying in good position, keeping her back against and now landing some vicious elbows to the side of Lindsay Garbett's head. Big elbows there. And now looking for a choke, a front choke here from Lindsay Garbett. Essenza pulling that away and popping out and back to her feet. And again, both fighters doing an effective job at striking here, Jeremy. Just being patient. Again, showing the professionals are very patient. Nice work by Lindsay Garvey using the punch to close the distance. Needs to get those hands locked in behind the legs of Stephanie Essen Essence, pardon. And a good takedown. But Essence again landing in a good position to be able to counter the effect, and that's a huge up kick. A vicious up kick from Stephanie Essence. A bounce the head back of Lindsay Garbett, but Garbett, uh, no stranger to taking damage to the head as a professional boxer, went right through it and continued to control this fight. Good work by Essence, getting up off the cage. Garbett continuing to press her advantage here up against the cage. Earlier in the fight, we saw Essenza grab Garbett and fire elbows into the side of her head. And again, now a reverse of what we saw in round number one, where that underhook being performed now by Essenza up against the cage in almost exactly the same position we saw the reverse of in round one. The inexperience on the wrestling is showing here from Lindsay Garvin because she's in good position to be able to finish it. As soon as those hands are locked, she's going to be able to finish that takedown, but she hasn't done it two times in a row. That time she is doing it, and now avoiding the up kick and getting in behind Stephanie Essenza. And again, trying to slam her down to the ground and control the fight from that position. Garbett now with the back of Essenza trying to find a choke here, Jeremy, and Essenza might be in a little trouble. Well, it's a position that Essenza has worked countless times in the gym, but rough now as that arm is around the neck. It's not quite locked in for a rear naked choke, but the head is being controlled. So you're gonna see some shifting of weight. Good work by Essenza attacking the hands, making sure that Lindsay Garbett can't get any grip and any work on the rear naked choke. Garbett now looking for the rear naked choke, does have the one arm under, but Essenza stopping and preventing her from getting that grip and holding it down, but now Garbett switching to the other arm, trying to get that under the chin and secure it on the other side. One minute to go here in the second of three possible rounds in our women's 115 pound division. Stephanie Essenza and Lindsay Garbett going at it here. And Garbett for a boxer, Jeremy, showing very good ground skills. Well, and patience as well, Ryan. Uh, I am surprised, though, that Garbett hasn't switched to a body triangle. Again, being able to switch to that body triangle will keep her in this position without having to really work as hard. But Essenza, again, attacking the hands. But this is going to do a lot of... Um, arm uh, weariness to Lindsay Garvin because she keeps trying to get in and get this choke and again having to cut the extra weight after weighing in yesterday so we'll see if her conditioning can play out here. So Garbett with the back of Essenza for the last minute or so of round number two and landing some punches, both fighters landing punches, although the ones from Essence are not gonna do much damage from that position, but 
uh, showing the judges she's still okay by throwing punches from the top. So they come out and touch gloves for the third and final round here between Stephanie Essenza in the black Jayco trunks, the Hayabusa shorts for Lindsay Garbett. Nice switch there. Again, the combination landing. A nice a shot there to the body from Garbutt. Again, putting her hands up, you really see that boxing stance, which is something that we've seen from Stephanie Essenza in the past as her striking has been far uh, ahead of that of her opponent tonight, though definitely meeting her match uh, in, in Lindsay Garbutt. Again, we, we said that it's, it's very tough to call this fight because it's been so close, and that's a nice head kick from Stephanie Essenza and a return punch from Lindsay Garbett. I'm surprised, Ryan, that she's not using the jab more to try and set up the rest of her techniques. So again, trying for the head kick. Manoa's a nice combination from Essenza. Garbett pacing, trying to find her spot, a nice hook to the body. Leg kick coming forward. Jeremy, we knew what Stephanie Essenza was bringing into this fight, certainly as both a striker and, and on the ground game, but I'm really quite impressed with the totality of skills that we're seeing from Lindsay Garvin. Well, and she spent a lot of time getting ready, you know, trained for three years before finding a, a, an opponent. But again, this is a very tough fight because both are landing good shots, and those are some nice body shots from Lindsay Garbett. But every time that we think that Garbett's getting into the boxing, getting her striking, Essenza lands a great shot, just like she did there with that overhand left hand. And yeah, nice left sneaking in there from Essenza, and now charging forward, landing a couple in the knees. Jeremy, for my money, Essence is getting the better of the striking here in round number three, which could end up being a deciding round. There's another counter there as, as Garbett was coming in for the leg attack. She has a single leg now, needs to work to take it down. Once her head's to the outside, she has to switch to two legs here, and that's what's really going to help. Head again to the outside, has to switch to two legs, has the hands locked, and just what her coach said, let's take her down in our corner and let's work from here. So Lindsay Garbett again secures the takedown on Stephanie Essenza. Again, continuing to work from the top position. Lindsay Garbett finishing off the takedown, trying to, to kind of better her position here. But another vicious elbow followed up by a, a, another one here from Stephanie Essenza to the side of Lindsay Garbett's head. And posturing here is Lindsay Garbett trying to take away that ability to use those elbows and try and get some separation. But a nice takedown from Essence immediately countered by Lindsay Garbett, but wasn't able to get the separation on the over on the throw on the body lock. And now a good position for Stephanie Essence, who really gets her first opportunity to work from the top in this fight. So a minute and a half to go. Stephanie Essenza trying to find a choke of her own here. Kind of a, a cross face there. On Garbett grabbing that far shoulder, trying to steer her away. Garbett though pushing through that, Jeremy, getting up and driving Essenza to the, to the cage. And you watch Essenza, anytime she feels like she's in trouble, she's gonna crank on that, on that cross face and, and it's, uh, similar to a neck crank. It's a way to counter the, the attack here. But uh, now with the legs being let go, she's looking to crawl in the back and she does. And so she's gonna be in a good position here with 50 seconds to go. But just as we say that, Lindsay Carbett sneaking out the back and now landing some strikes of her own. Nice exchange of punches there. And again, Carbett comes in with the kick. Essenza feeds her a fist. And now it's Garbett with Essenza up against the cage again, it's trying for the drag takedown and winding up in a bad position as a result. And just 20 seconds left. So you're gonna see, again, Stephanie Essenza is gonna have a big flurry here when she sees the, here's the last 10 seconds. And as, as asked and answered, Jeremy, 10 seconds left. 
and Stephanie Essens are coming in with elbows and punches, winding up on top. What a fight between these two as Stephanie Essens and Lindsay Garbett go the distance. 